This is dyed sheep's wool. It's been washed and combed and dyed. This is my principal supply. I grew up in Sainsville. I didn't have art lessons. I didn't go to art school. I'm self-taught. As a child, you know, when you do art classes, I didn't have any ability. I usually got a, a C or a, a D because I, I couldn't draw. I just didn't have that ability. So I met a woman about five years ago and, and she said, have you ever tried needle felting? She said, look it up on YouTube. She said, I think you might, you might enjoy it. And that's what I did. I looked it up and I, I ordered some, some supplies, just a needle and some wool. And I started and I was immediately hooked because suddenly I could sort of paint or draw like I had never been able to before. Felting has been around for thousands of years to make cloth. The interesting thing about needle felting, like I do, it's only been around since about the 1980s. Some people describe it as painting with wool fiber. Maybe the needle they use is like a brush, and, and the wool is the paint. So there are barbs on the needle, and there are barbs on the individual wool strands. And when the needle pokes the wool down through the background, it knits it all together. Uh, I think it's really kind of like magic. Uh, this over here it, it is a needle felting machine, and it looks very much like a sewing machine. It's simpler to use, though. It's just the needles, it, and the point of it is that it does a lot of needle felting really fast. There's five needles, so I use it to put down color for a big background. The shaping is very easy because uh, wool fiber is soft and it will do whatever you want it to do. It'll go wherever the needle takes it. Needle felting, I feel, is, is maybe something I was missing all my life. <laughs>